welcome to our evening broadcast of Sri Aurobindo Savitri. We are in Canto 10, The Kingdoms and Godheads of the Little Mind. We are through verses 20 through 25. The hours discovered immortality, but satisfied with their sublime contents, on peaks they ceased, whose tops halfway to heaven pointed to an apex they could never mount, to a grandeur in whose air they could not live, inviting to their high and exquisite sphere, to their secure and fine extremities. This creature who hugs his limits to feel safe, these heights decline, a greater adventure's call. A glory and sweetness of satisfied desire, tied up the spirit to golden posts of bliss. It could not house the wideness of a soul, which needed all infinity for its home. A memory soft as grass and faint as sleep, the beauty and call receding sank behind, like a sweet song heard fading far away upon the long high road to timelessness. Abba was an ardent white tranquility. A musing spirit looked out on the worlds. Unlike a brilliant clambering of skies, passing through clarity to an unseen light, large lucent realms of mind and stillness shone. But first he met a silver grey expanse, where day and night had wedded and were worn. It was a track of dim and shifting rays, parting life sentient flow from thoughts self voice a coalition of uncertainties their excised uneasy government on a ground reserved for doubt and reason guess a rendezvous of knowledge with ignorance at its low extremity held difficult sway a mind that hardly saw and slowly found its nature to our earthly nature close and kin to our precarious mortal thought that looks from soil to sky and sky to soil but knows not the below nor the beyond it only sensed itself and outward things this was the first means of our slow ascent from the half conscience of the animal soul, living in a crowded press of ship events, in a realm it cannot understand nor change. Only it sees and acts in a given scene, and feels and joy and sorrows for a while. The ideas that drive the obscure embodied spirit along the roads of suffering and desire in a world that struggles to discover truth found here their power to be and nature force here are devised the forms of an ignorant life that sees the empiric fact as settled law labors for the heart and not for eternity and trades its gains to meet the moment's call, the slow process of a material mind which serves the body it should rule and use, and needs to lean upon an erring sense, was born in that luminous obscurity. Thank you.